I've always been drawn towards the ocean. I just love the bay, love the sea, love the ocean. The ocean, for me, has always been a magical place. There is something about being in the surf, knowing that you are engaging in a force that started literally sometimes thousands of miles away and propagated across the vast distances of the sea. The reason I like surfing is it gives me an opportunity to interact with that energy. I'm a contrarian, and surfers by nature are contrarian people. You gotta break a few rules if you're gonna change the world. Neuroscience, neurosurgery is infinitely fascinating. It is who we are. I fell by accident into this world, and it was a, a true blessing. And I found a thirst to do something that was practical and ideally help patients. A man named Lars Luxell created the field of radio surgery, where he had figured out how to accurately target radiation into the brain, but it only worked in the brain. My question I posed was that if we could do radio surgery in the brain, maybe there was a way to accurately deliver precision radiation elsewhere in the body. With the CyberKnife, you can now non-invasively focus lots of little energy on this point in space inside the human body and destroy the target. And that is what the field of stereotactic radiosurgery is all about. Many, many millions of patients, if not 10 millions of patients, have had these kind of procedures over the last two decades. So all this is now a non-invasive world. And as powerful as the CyberKnife was, it has only been the tip of the iceberg. If you are building an innovation company today, one of the most important assets that you have is patents. Patents are key to making new ideas real in the world. Without that, IP without that patent to protect us to start a company, we could have never made it happen. For me, ultimately business is not about developing the biggest pile of money, but about changing the world in the most formative way. One of the things the ocean teaches you and surfing teaches you, you have to catch the wave at the right time. If your invention is just too early in its time, it's never gonna succeed. Great ideas are easy. Making those ideas real in the world requires persistence. And persistence is about failure. It's about picking yourself up and doing something over and over and over and over again to finally you get it right. Innovation is being human. We, as a species, have been innovating for literally 100,000 years. I think it has a lot of social value, and in the end, I consider today and be proud of what I did.